से हमारा सर्कुलर मोशन मोकर सर्कुलर पाथ पे मूव कर रहा है तो उसको हम सर्कुलर मोशन बोलेंगे अगर कोई कोई ऑब्जेक्ट हमारा कर्व पाथ पे मूव कर रहा है तो उसको करवेलिंग मोशन बोलेंगे तो ऐसे तीन टाइप के मोशन होते हैं तो बेसिकली द मोशन कैन बी डिटरमाइन बाय द थ्री इक्वेशन थ्री काइनमेटिकल इक्वेशन नॉन एज एन एंड दिस इज अ फाइव फंडामेंटल पॉइंट दिस इज अ फाइव फंडामेंटल नोटेशन वी कैन बी डिराइव द काइनमेटिकल इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन तो नाउ सी द फर्स्ट फाइव इक्वेशन ऑफ लेन मोशन आल्सो फर्स्ट वन वी इज इक्वल टू यू प्लस एटी दिस इज ऑल्सो न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ इक्वेशन मोशन Everybody understand. We are studying about the ninth, ninth, tenth standard. First three equal Newton's law of motion. So, we have three laws. First, we have studied ninth, tenth. We have studied equal to u a plus a t, x is equal to u t plus one upon two t square, and v square is equal to u square plus two a. We have studied. यस ये तीनों पढ़ाई की नहीं हमने नजर है सबको नजर है Uh, sir, we can't read what what is on the screen. We can't read it, sir. We can see that you have put it up, but it is not uh, clear. We can't read it. Is it clear? Uh, sir, bet it's much better. Now again, we can't read it. <laughs> I will send in a WhatsApp group. Yes, so sir. it is easy to read out to everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now this is a five equation. We can be determine the linear motion of any object. Like a first one, v is equal to u plus t, and second is equal to x u to u t. Plus v upon two t, and fifth one x is equal to v t minus one upon two t square. So this is a five kinematical equation. We can we can be determine easily. टोटल डिस्प्लेसमेंट इनिशियल वेलोसिटी फाइनल वेलोसिटी टाइम एंड कॉन्स्टेंट एक्सेलेशन बाय दिस फॉर्मूला नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज अ पीरियोडिक मोशन तो पीरियोडिक मोशन इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ रिपीटेड पीरियोडिक मोशन लाइक अ वॉच वॉच अंडरस्टैंड वाद घड़ी हमने देखा है ना घड़ी देखो कैसा होता है बारह से बचता है बारह के बाद फिर अगेन कंटिन्यू तो वो क्या होता है सेम प्रोसीजर फॉलो करता है तो इस तरह के मोशन को हम लोग बोलते हैं प्रियोडिक मोशन तो प्रियोडिक मोशन क्या होता है क्या इट इज अ मोशन विच कैन बी रिपीट इट सेल्फ रेगुलर इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम इज नॉन एज अ प्रियोडिक मोशन तो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पीरियोडिक मोशन ऑसिलेटरी मोशन सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ ऑसिलेटरी मोशन वन वन इज ऑसिलेटरी मोशन इट इज ऑल्सो नॉन इज वाइब्रेटरी मोशन एंड वन इज सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन तो नाउ सी द डायग्राम 
ਉਹ ਵੀ ਜੋ origignal position of the bob so when when apply the force in a a direction the force the bob is also going in a c direction and again go direction and at the time it will be rest in ob position so now this type of motion is known as oscillatory motion or vibratory vibratory motion just to wait for us uh, today we have to go for online co college so now is level 2 one is traveling time for us yes sir for first shift b and c batch now from 1 to 5 we have offline college so yes, level 2 one is traveling time yes sir so so when you attend uh, this lecture can you tell me fill schedule yes can you tell me fill schedule so you can record this lecture and then give it to them later yes yes ਰੋਡੀਕ ਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਐਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਮੀ ਨਾਈ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਕਿਆ ਸਭ ਕੋ ਯੈਸ ਸਰ ਆਹ 
now there are different type of periodic motion so basically we are study about the two type of periodic motion one is a oscillatory motion one is a simple harmonic motion so oscillatory motion it is a like a simple it is a it is a periodic motion it is a simple like a watch or hum log bol sakte jo hum log ghadi use karte iski tarah hota hai oscillatory motion so see the diagram diagram or be the original position it it will be the b position is a rest and when the b position is displaced from the some certain time the bob will go at the a position and again also also back to the c position and again again go to a position and again back to c position and this a or c position go again interval of time and this type of motion is known as a periodic motion or oscillatory motion so now what is oscillatory oscillatory motion if a body move to and fro about the main position is called a oscillatory motion so so there is no difference there is no difference between any oscillation and vibration motion because even the frequency will be changes the oscillatory motion also goes with the vibration motions next is a simple harmonic motion so simple harmonic motion it is also periodic motion of the body which can be accelerated directed toward the main position and magnetic directly proportional to displacement of the body from one position like a simple harmonic motion it is a example of like a like a saving machine saving machine malum hai ki nahi sabko yes yes sir saving machine kya saving machine kya hota hai saving machine means jo silai ka machine rehta hai usme needle dekho jaise agar hum log chalu karte hain up and down up and down aisa hote rehta hai theek hai to is tarah ke motion ko hum log simple harmonic motion bolte hain So it is also like a just example of the motion of the simple pendulum bob and mass oscillating on a spring. It is also like a simple harmonic motion. So there are many term related according to simple harmonic motion. One is a time period. So what is the time period? The time taken by a particle to complete one oscillation is known as the time period and frequency. The number of oscillation completed in one second is called frequency and amplitude. It is a max maximum possible displacement of particle from main position is known as the amplitude and wavelength. The it is a distance covered by in a, in a lambda one second. It is a distance covered by lambda in one second. Yeah, it is a distance covered by in one complete oscillation. Both are the same. So there are definition. कमीने एग्जामिनेशन फॉर वन मार्क्सेस और टू मार्क्सेस ये सब डेफिनेशन है जो एग्जाम में आ सकते हैं concept is a phase the phase phase is a give the complete description in simple harmonic motion it is a complete one epoch it is a complete in a one epoch is called the phase diagram so the phase of the particle can be represent in either in term of the reference particle or in in term of the friction particle it is a non angle so there are many formula you are given t is equals to 2 pi upon omega and omega is equals to 2 pi n and om omega is equals to 2 by t and n is equals to 1 upon t so there are four relation between the time period angular velocity and frequency and frequency lambda is given there are four relation between the any particle
अंडरस्टैंड तो फर्स्ट यू रीड आउट द जस्ट दिस वन फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट देन आई वेट वेट द कंप्लीट थर्ड पेज फर्स्ट यू रीड आउट द एनी बडी हैव डाउट टू टेल मी फर्स्ट यू रीड आउट द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड पेज सर हाउ मेनी चैप्टर्स विल बी देयर फॉर यूनिट नेक्स्ट टू चैप्टर्स फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड फर्स्ट यूनिट इन मेजरमेंट सेकेंड वन इज ए मोशन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज ए सर्कुलर मोशन तो सर्कुलर मोशन में क्या होता है द बॉडी विच कैन बी परफॉर्म अलॉन्ग सर्कम फ्रेंस ऑफ सर्कल इज कॉल्ड सर्कुलर मोशन मींस अगर कोई बॉडी सर्कल में घूम रहा है तो उसको हम लोग बोलेंगे सर्कुलर मोशन तो देयर आर मेनी एग्जांपल ऑफ द फर्स्ट वन एग्जांपल मोन इज रिवॉल्व अराउंड द अर्थ एंड प्लैनेट रिवॉल्व अराउंड द ऑर्बिट तो दिस इज अ मैथमेटिकल टर्म वी कैन बी डिटरमाइन द सर्कुलर मोशन consider a particle from a to b one point in time t so let theta is a angular displacement so what is obtain the formula x is a length of the arc ab r is a radius of the circle v is a initial length of the so this is a formula we can be calculate the circular motion कॉन्सेप्ट इज रेडियस वेक्टर तो रेडियस वेक्टर इज क्या होता है द लाइन जॉइनिंग द पॉइंट फ्रॉम ओरिजिन ऑफ द सेंटर टू पार्टिकल्स ऑन द सर्कल इज कॉल्ड द रेडियस ऑफ वेक्टर एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रेडियस वेक्टर विल बी गिवन बाय द सेंटर ऑफ द आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ सर्कल सी दिस ओ ए डायग्राम में देखो ओ ए तो ओ ए क्या है दिस इज अ रेडियस वेक्टर वी कैन बी डिटरमाइन ए ओ ए ओ वी बोथ आर द रेडियस वेक्टर वी कैन बी डिटरमाइन द ओरिजिन एंड फ्रॉम द आउटवर्ड फ्रॉम सेंट्रल ऑफ सर्कल इज नॉन इज अ रेडियस वेक्टर एंड एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट सी द डायग्राम थीटा तो एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज क्या एंगल सबसेंट बाय द रेडियस वेक्टर व्हेन अ पार्टिकल मूव फ्रॉम ए टू बी पोजीशन इज कॉल्ड एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट तो द साइन ऑफ एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ रेडियन एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज अ परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द गिवन राइट हैंड रूल Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, in first chapter we have given that ten questions. Only that much we have to study. Yes. What do you say? Sir, in first chapter we have given that ten questions. That much only we have to study, or we have to read the whole thing, whatever we have. We have. We now. All of you study all the ten question. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Because this, because this type of question come in examination, so you know about the what type of question ask in examination. next concept is angular velocity angular velocity it is a type of change of angular displacement and due to respect to time Hello. called angular velocity so now this is a denoted by the mathematical term omega is equal to theta upon t the sine of the angular velocity is radian per second and the direction of angular velocity is a perpendicular to the direction of right hand rule and angular acceleration the rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time is called angular acceleration Let alpha is angular acceleration and alpha is equal to omega one t. So the sine of the angular acceleration radius per second. So all the, this mathematical term will be determined according to the mathematical formula. And this is the next concept is the relation between the linear velocity and angular velocity. 
So this can be determined expression. How can be determined the relation between the linear velocity and angular velocity? So see the diagram. Omega v a v are given position. So x is a linear displacement, theta is a angular displacement, v is a linear velocity, r is a radius of circle, and omega is angular velocity. So by definition, velocity is what? What is the velocity? Displacement upon time. So v is equal to dx upon t. But v is equal to क्या होता है r into theta upon t. X is equal to r into theta. Given in our formula. So where omega is equal to w upon t and v is equal to r into omega. So this is a, this formula can be expressed the relation between the linear velocity and angular velocity. Means linear velocity is a radius time of the angular velocity given. So there are many relation which can be determined the circular motion. Omega is equal to omega naught plus alpha t, and theta is equal to omega naught plus one upon two alpha t square, and omega square is equal to omega naught square plus two alpha naught. So this is the same formula obtained by Newton's three law of motion. The next is a uniform circular motion. The uniform circular motion is a motion of the particle along a circumference of circle with a constant speed. It's called as a uniform circular motion. And radial acceleration, the the acceleration of the uniform particle with a long circle of circle is called the acceleration motion. So there are many concept about the acceleration motion, uniform circular motion, and radial acceleration. So there are many difference between the centripetal and centrifugal forces. Centripetal force is a force which is directed along the radius and center of the circle. And centrifugal force it is directed along the radius but away from the. Both the forces are the difference between one force is just away from the center of the circle and one force is just towards from the center of the circle. 
the centripetal force is a force which is directed along the radius but towards from the center of the circle and centripetal force is directed toward the radius but away from the center of the circle this uh, this type of force is known as a real forces and this type of force is known as a imaginary or pseudo forces third one this force is a causes the most uniform circular motion and this force is causes the uniform circular motion so this is a this type of this two type of force will be expressed in the nature and we automatically obey the formula of the nature according to their circumference of the any circle so there are many application of the centripetal and centrifugal forces so bank first one application of centripetal force the outer edge of the cow road is inclined above the inner edge over to avoid sliding of the speed vehicle and the cyclist has to bend slightly towards the center of circular orbit this to phenomena obtain of the centripetal forces and what is the centrifugal forces it is a machine used to separate the heavier particle from lighter particle in the mixer like hum log jo mixer mixer use karte mixer uske baad washing machine it is like a simple for example of the centrifugal forces So this is your exercise. This type of question come in examination. See, and this is a problem. This is a given bottom side of the problem. This type of problem come in examination. So I will send you PDF group in. I will send PDF in a group.
सबको ऐसा कोई इस तरह का क्वेश्चन आता है एग्जाम में और ये प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम का पीडीएफ मैं सेंड करूंगा ग्रुप में चैप्टर खत्म हो गया अभी जस्ट वेट अभी खत्म नहीं हुआ है दो मोशन आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा रिप्रेजेंट करना पड़ेगा तो इसके ऊपर आपको पांच मार्क्स मिलते हैं एग्जाम में आता है या उसके बाद and if you are confusing about the upward and downward motion so also write in this one upward motion and downward motion aisa do likh sakte hain sir only which questions are mentioned in this pdf that only questions you have to learn for unit test yes sir yes. or some extra will not come na na extra nahi सिर्फ आपको इसी में से करना है और जो सम्स आपने भेजे वही आएंगे ना सर नो नो प्रॉब्लम इससे रिलेटेड आ सकते सेम टू सेम नहीं ओके सर मतलब फार्मूला होता सब सेम रहेंगे हां फार्मूला सेम रहेगा पैटर्न भी सेम रहेगा सिर्फ वैल्यू क्या रहेगा अलग रहेगा वैल्यू ओके सर थैंक यू Now I will send this PDF on a group. So everybody read out. Anybody who died to tell me. Sir, please send the extra question which you think may come in exam so that the the question come in in this way in this PDF files only itself. जो क्वेश्चन आएगा इसमें PDF में से आएगा बाहर का नहीं आएगा. PDF PDF में दुखा दिया हुआ है ना क्वेश्चन उतना ही आएगा आपको बाहर का नहीं आएगा. सिर्फ प्रॉब्लम आपको क्या आएंगे बाहर से आएंगे वो भी सिर्फ सम फॉर्मूला सेम रहेगा सिर्फ आपको वैल्यू सिर्फ अलग अलग आ सकता है बाकी का सब सेम रहेगा
ग्रुप में मैंने पीडीएफ भेजा है एक बार रिडाउट करो किसी को डाउट हेलो अर्षद ओके सर हेलो अर्षद हेलो अर्षद हाँ 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 बोलो बोलो हेलो अर्षद हेलो ओके 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 एग्जाम्पल दे सकते हो गए ऐसा कभी होता है की हाँ स्टोन इन नजदीक में आ जाए ऐसा नहीं होता है ना स्टोन के साथ घूमते रहता है थ्रेड की नहीं 
तो हम लोग स्पीड में मूव नहीं करते हम लोग क्या करते हैं स्लो में मूव करते हैं स्लो में मूव करते कि नहीं 